this take. He had kids. I called child services on his ass and I like fabricated everything and like said certain things and they like went to the door and like there was a whole process like I don't even know if the children's aid worker still visits them but she probably does because what I said like the way I AI that you know like real AI like fake bruises type shit it gives me no pleasure to say this, but generally the statute of limitations for false reporting to CPS is one year. This incident seems to be from a few years ago, so she got away. Except for one little mistake that she made. By admitting on air what appears to be fraud and more, she triggered a new statute of limitations under what's called the delayed discovery rule, making this woman answerable to both criminal and civil charges. So no, she's not getting away with it. Lawyers take. You have kids? I call child service. Hey folks, this is Jeff with this with JTT and heads up guys, heads up. You got to be careful with the women you deal with. I mean, the video you saw is I think she was an OnlyFans model or something like that. Instagram, whatever. Don't care. This woman made a fake child abuse allegation against her ex. Child welfare was called in, I think, like, you see, and she did it in the live podcast. She said, oh, I use say, I put fake bruises on the kid. Are you serious? That's the most messed up thing I heard. That's horrible. She thought it would be the funniest thing, but here's the problem she's going to have now. She just, conf she just pretty much spilled the tea on a live podcast of, yet of the crime she made. Making false allegations should be a major crime. So now that since it's on the internet and they got the evidence, it's going to be a matter of time for the law comes after her. That is just wrong. You just made this man's life a lot more difficult. You made the little children's life a lot more difficult. You have beef with the man. Just break up with him and go pure no contact. Now you get involved with the kid. That is beyond petty. That's downright evil. This is why, man, you got to be careful. I don't know what's a malfunction. All I'm going to say, though, is like women like that avoid like their death because there will be the death of you. That's one. And as a side note as well, before I forget, I think the person who was a YouTuber or social media uh, personality, I think is Inquisitor. My heart and prayers to his friends and family. This poor man committed suicide because somebody made some false allegations against him. He was only 23 years old. And the best thing these, 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 these females said, so I just put out information out there. That is stone cold. The man... Took his own life because you made his life unbearable. You see, there are some people, social media is their only lifeline, only life, only friend and family. And you took that away from him. And all you can say, like, we provide information. That's just wrong. That's still wrong. But like I said, in the end, when we all pass away, we got to answer to a way higher authority. We got to be answerable to all our actions. That includes you too. Me, yes, but especially you. You know, you make it sound like, oh, what's the big deal? I don't know why you did what you did. I'm not going to pretend to understand. I'm not going to pretend to get it because I don't. The evil in people's hearts never cease to amaze me and terrify me at the same time. Over that to Inquisitor, may you rest in peace. And men, please be safe out there. It's an evil world out there. And the women, it's just as bad as the demons. Stay safe. God bless.